All right, so in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to solve the problem 50 to the power of 50 over 25 to the power of 25. So I want to find the solution to this problem. So to start, I have 50 to the power of 50 over 25 to the power of 25. And I'm going to first rewrite this as 50 to the power of 25 plus 25. So now I have 50 to the power of 25 plus 25 over 25 to the power of 25. And the reason I rewrote 50 to the power of 50 as 50 to the power of 25 plus 25 is because now I can use an exponential property that states that if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So I would highly recommend that you memorize this because this can be also be used later in math. So 50 to the power of 25 plus 25 using this property turned into 50 to the power of 25 times 50 to the power of 25. And I still have this over 25 to the power of 25. Now from here, I'm going to rewrite this as 50 to the power of 25 times 50 to the power of 25 over 25 to the power of 25. And now I can use another property that states that if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is equal to a over b to the power of m. So this is equal to 50 to the power of 25 times 50 over 25 to the power of 25. Now, this turns to 50 to the power of 25 times, well, 50 divided by 25 is 2, so times 2 to the power of 25. Now, another property I can use, and which will be the final property of this video, is that if I have something in the form a to the power of m times b to the power of m, this is equal to a times b to the power of m. So you are basically just factoring out the exponent. So in this case, I have 50 to the power of 25 times 25 to the power of or sorry, times 2 to the power of 25, and this can be rewritten as 50 times 2 to the power of 25. Now, 50 times 2 is 100, so I get 100 to the power of 25. However, I'm not done yet because I'm actually going to simplify this a little more. 100, I can rewrite as 10 squared. So I get 10 squared to the power of 25. And if I have something from a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 10 to the power of 2 to the power of 25 is going to equal 10 to the power of 2 times 25, which is equal to 10 to the power of 50. So 10 to the power of 50 is my answer to this problem. Please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Also, please share this to your friends if you find this interesting. Thank you. All right, so in this video, I'm going to solve the problem 2 to the power of 22 minus 1. So to solve this, what I'm first going to do is rewrite this as 2 to the power of 11 times 2 minus 1. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 11 times 2 is equal to 2 to the power of 11 to the power of 2 minus 1. Now 1 is the same thing as 1 squared. So now I have 2 to the power of 11 to the power of 2 minus 1 squared. Now the reason I did that 
and rewrote one as one squared is because now I can use the property a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So just to clarify, a is 2 to the power of 11 and b is 1. So now I get 2 to the power of 11 plus 1 times 2 to the power of 11 minus 1. Now, what is 2 to the power of 11? Well, 2 to the power of 9 is 512. 2 to the power of 10 is going to be double of 2 to the power of 9, which is double of 512, which is 1,024. So 2 to the power of 11 is double of 1,024, which is 2,048. So now, I get 2,048 plus 1 times 2048 minus 1. Now 2048 plus 1 is 2049 and 2048 minus 1 is 2047. So I get 2049 times 2047 and now a simpler way of multiplying this rather than the usual method of this way. This way takes way too long. So a much easier route is to rewrite this as 2000 plus 49 times 2000 plus 47. Now from here, I can simply distribute. So I have 2000 times 2000, which is 2000 squared plus 2000 times 47 plus 49 times 2,000 plus 49 times 47 now 2,000 squared is going to be 4 million plus 47 times 2,000 is 94,000 plus 49 times 2,000 is 98,000 and finally 49 times 47 is 2,303. So now, by adding all these up, I get 4,194,000, because 94,000 plus 98,000 is 100. 94,000 and then I have to add in the 2,303 so now I get 303 at the end.